Now, I collect all rare types of Paripa, and most of the time when you see like the natural pinks or the natural greens, most of those come out of Mozambique. That particular material comes out of the Mozambique deposit, which is an alluvial type deposit. But if you want to collect the natural colors of Brazil or Nigeria, this is it. This is what unheated Nigerian Pariba looks like. Now, if you look at the geological vein between Brazil and Nigeria, if you look at Pangaea dating back when the world was a supercontinent, they were actually connected in the same geological vein. As the continents started drifting apart, it took its vein with it, but they are both known as what we call primary sources, which means we find the crystals within the pegmatite host rock. So it's where they are actually actually born and they have very similar similar crystal you know characteristics copper concentration manganese concentration the ability to disperse light that pop that neon color that effect and this stone is alive you were looking at a 4.64 carat perfectly crystallized electric like you know marine blue it is alive it is unheated it is a natural unheated pariba it pops like no tomorrow it's got amazing crystal and i tell you stones like this sell in the natural form for 30, 40, 50,000 a carat. This is an old stone. I got it back in early 2000 before anyone was in Nigeria scratching their heads wondering what that deposit is. I was buying it all up. And I tell you right now, this is a crazy, crazy gemstone. It's been on display, just got it back from one of the major museums here in Canada. And it is beautiful. When you look at it, it is alive. It speaks to you. It is brilliant. It is dispersive. And go look under candlelight, look under sunlight, look under a direct LED light, and you'll see the power of Pariba Tourmaline.